next on the Backcountry Vagabond. X, Y, Z, please. The outdoors awaits. All you have to do is step into it. Bon -on, bon -on. <clears throat> this is your Backcountry Vagabond, Greg Sidnam, inviting you to join me for a backcountry adventure. Morning of day 30. It's a little chilly this morning. I figured I'd make me a fire. But we're gonna go ahead and eat some breakfast and wrap up camp, hike our two miles back to the car. This is the end of my trip, the end of my adventure. <laughs> it's been a great adventure. I did 30 days, I did 30 days. Could I have stayed back there for a while? We'll never know. <laughs> Until next season, when I'm thinking about maybe Isle Royal, the least visited national park in the lower 48. I'm the backcountry vagabond, but you can call me Greg. Get off your ass and get into the woods. Hey ho, so this is it guys. I am just walking down the trail to my car. I got about a mile and a half, two miles to go. This is the end of the adventure. Possibly the end of the last time I come to Huckleberry Lake. I hope not. I think I'll dream about those brook trout the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, this shit just bugs the hell out of me. They haven't maintained the trails out here for a bit, looks like. A couple of years behind. So you walk around or you push through. And guess what's what I do? <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I do a little bit of both. I want to give you a real quick perspective. Gorgeous morning. This is the Backcountry Vagabond wrapping up this trip. What a great trip it's been. I hope you had some fun. I know I did. Until next time. Later, dudes. So I'm done. The hiking is over. I came down here and my car is the only car down here. When I went out on July 5th, there were 10 other cars here, but pfft, Ain't nobody here now. Just so glad to be done freaking hiking. But when the trade-off is three and a half weeks in the back country, living off the land and what you carried in, there's no question that it's worth it. Horrible, rotten, oh. brutal ah. hiking. But yeah, it's worth it. Oh yeah, I've got shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> so the stoner stash is empty except for the imiha what is an imiha you might ask this is the last joint in your stoner calendar i made it home alive <laughs> you have that after you finally opened up the door and dropped all your stuff that's what you have to memorialize to commemorate if you will this wonderful trip so now all I really have to do is do a little bit of cleanup. Put my shirt on. I already got my pack loaded in the car and drive away. In 15 minutes, I will no longer be at Cherry Lake. And no more stoner time living. Living on stoner time. <laughs> so, my adventure is complete. I put on a pack. I hiked at 20 miles back into the wilderness. I stayed there for three and a half weeks and I came back out all in 30 days. I'm thinner. Ooh, how about a little XYZ? XYZ, please. I've got equipment reviews to do. Not all that thrilled with some of the equipment that I spent a lot of money on. These Columbia shorts, they're, they're horrible. They're, they're poor workmanship, stitched horribly. Uh, the boat. I'm so glad I had it. 
and yet I'm still not satisfied because I paid so much for it. That's going to be it for me. I have returned from the wilds. A changed man. A happier man, perhaps. For the Backcountry Vagabond. I'm Greg Sidney. I'm saying thank you so much for joining me on this trip. I hope to see you next time. Peace and love. Living on sponge cake. Watching the sun bake. Know how they say don't drink in boat? I'm boating drunk! All those tourists covered with oil. And I've got a little t-shirt covering my groin area. But I'm naked. Strumming my six string. There's a fire! On my front porch swing. My reel is a piece of shit. I can't cast from me to you away. I'm still catching fish. The smell of the shrimp, they're beginning to boil. Oopsie! Maybe we have to do that one all over again another time. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. I go into my pack and I realize that I forgot toilet paper. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. The outdoors awaits. All you need to do is step into it. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame. Look, Ma, I caught me a fish. But I know it's my own damn fault. They have ruined it for me, ruined it. Classic from Mr. Jimmy Buffett. Not really Margaritaville here, but definitely paradise of some sort. Next time you see me, I'll have a full bag of spruce tips. Until later, I'm the backcountry vagabond saying, hey, bro, ain't nobody out here but me.